where the Bombay High Court has issued a notice now to the Maha government asking as to why the investigation should not be transferred to the CBI. Now, this is in response to the petition which was filed by Anand Karmuse, remember, who was beaten at Avhard's residence. And the victim is now alleging that the investigation was not fair and it should be transferred to the CBI. Now, while hearing this particular petition, the Bombay High Court has now issued a notice to the Maharashtra government. Let's go across to Mega Prasad, a senior editor joining us in the broadcast. The Bombay High Court has issued a notice now to the Maharashtra government, Mega, asking them why shouldn't the investigation be transferred to the CBI? Uh, that's right, and I'm reading. I'm reading uh, from the document. It says, the Bombay High Court says, that pending the hearing and final disposal of the present petition, this honorable court may be pleased to direct the police to urgently procure the CDR and the SDR records of the petitioner, the petitioner's wife, the erring police officers, Jitendra Awad, relevant CCTV camera recordings, police work, car and van movements, etc., and the, that pending the hearing and final disposal of the present petition, this honorable court may be pleased to direct the respondent number one and two to submit the entire recording to the FIR. And of course, the direction that has gone to the uh, Maharashtra government, uh, of course, asking the question, uh, asking them to file the reply, but also asking the question if the, which they will have to respond to in their reply to the court is to why should this investigation not be transferred to the CBI? And that's where the story is because uh, the prayer in the petition by Anand Karmuse, the man who was allegedly thrashed at the residence of Jitendra Awad, is this, that the investigation is not happening in a fair manner and that the investigation should be handed over to another agency. Of course, he's demanded for this uh, CBI investigation and the court now, Bombay High Court now asking the question of the Maharashtra government as to why this should not happen. So these are the observations that we have of the Bombay High Court. And, uh, you know, what we are also learning is that clearly Anand Karmose, and you remember the story, it had blown into a big, big controversy when mm. a CCTV footage, etc., where all uh, had all come out, with, which allegedly had shown that the man was picked up from his house on the pretext that he would be taken to the police station, but he was actually taken to the residence of Jitendra Awad, and then he was beaten black and blue. Mm. It was all over the newspapers, and since then, of course, uh, the investigation has, has commenced, but uh, Anand Karmuse thinks that this is not a fair investigation happening. Some people have been arrested, but not much movement has happened. And hence, he went and approached the Bombay High Court. Mm. Right. Now, this stems up from the fact that the petitioner uh, does not believe in the investigation. The petitioner also believes that it isn't a fair probe which is being done by the Maharashtra government since their minister is involved. Here, uh, uh, you know, uh, Swati, uh, one that he claims, now these are the claims, he claims that he was beaten up really badly. There are some evidences that are out which possibly suggests that whatever he's saying could be true. Now, these are a matter of investigation, Swati. Mm. Everything is currently being investigated right now. So one has to wait for the investigation to get over. But the, if one has to understand the apprehension as to why he went to the court, Swati, then, of course, he is fighting against whom? He's fighting against a powerful politician who is currently a sitting cabinet minister. Mm. And hence, of course, Hence, of course, the fear in his mind that the investigation is not happening in mm. the right manner. Now, one has to peruse through the entire, mm. uh, you know, the uh, prayer and the plea that which he's gone to the Bombay High Court to say, understand what all he finds problematic right. in it. But he certainly was mm. asking for an investigation by an in independent agency. And on, on that particular point, because mm. that's important, mm. on that particular point, now the question has been asked by the Bombay High Court uh, of uh, to the Maharashtra government as right. to why she should not be given right. uh, to CBI. Right. Well, well, we'll have to wait, I guess, to see what the response is going to be of the Maharashtra government to this particular notice.